Good afternoon. The order of service for noonday prayer can be found in your digital bulletin or beginning on page 103 of the Book of Common Prayer. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm today is Psalm 124, found in your bulletin, or on page 781 in the prayer book. Let us read this responsibly by whole verse. <clears throat> if the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel now say, Then would they have swallowed us up alive in their fierce anger toward us. Then would the raging waters have gone right over us. We have escaped like a bird from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 12, verses 41 through 44. <clears throat> Jesus sat down opposite the treasury and watched the crowd putting money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow came and put in two small copper coins, which are worth a penny. Then he called his disciples and said to them, Truly, I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all those who are contributing to the treasury. For all of them have contributed out of their abundance, but she, out of her poverty, has put in everything she had, all she had to live on. Thanks be to God. Today we celebrate the lesser feast of Marcella of Rome, monastic and scholar. How much virtue and ability, how much holiness and purity I found in her, said Jerome of Marcella. I'm afraid to say, lest I may exceed the bounds of men's belief, Marcella was born in Rome in 325 to Albina, a noblewoman, noted for her piety and learning. When Marcella was a child, her mother invited Athanasius of Alexandria to sojourn in her home during his exile. At his feet, Marcella studied the lives of the holy monastics of the Thebaid, and Athanasius gave her a copy of his life of Antony. After being widowed as a young woman, Marcella devoted herself to the asceticism of Antony. Trading her costly array for a simple brown dress, she made her home into a house of prayer and refuge. Her example inspired other women to form a community, sometimes called the Brown Dress Society, that was devoted to chastity, chastity, poverty, fasting, prayer, studying the scriptures, and serving the poor and needy. Together with Paula, whose feast is September 28th, Marcella is one of the mothers of Roman monasticism. In 382, Pope Damasus invited Jerome to Rome, where he lodged in Marcella's Aventine Hill estate. During those three years, a friendship developed between Marcella, Paula, and Jerome, without which Jerome's Latin translation of the scriptures, later called the Vulgate, would not have been written. Marcella and Paula were both remarkably erudite, Jerome found in them not only friends, but colleagues with whom to discuss the challenges of interpreting and translating the scriptures. After the death of Damasus, Jerome, joined by Paula and her daughter Eustochium, left for Jerusalem. Although they urged Marcella to join them, she was determined to remain in Rome. She and Jerome corresponded for the remainder of her life. After his departure, Scholars came to her to seek her insight on obscure matters in the Greek and Hebrew scriptures. In the year 410, the Visigoths invaded Rome. 
Alaric's soldiers pillaged Marcella's home in search of wealth. They scourged the 85-year-old woman, demanding that she surrender her hidden treasures, all of which she had long since spent in charity. She only pleaded with the soldiers not to harm her protege, Principia. They were both eventually taken to St. Paul's Church, which had been designated a sanctuary. The following day, Marcella died in Principia's arms. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. O God, who satisfies the longing soul and fills the hungry with good things, grant that we, like your servant Marcella, may hunger and thirst after you above the vain pomp and glory of the world, and delight in your word above all manner of riches, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. I invite your own prayers of intercession and thanksgiving at this time. Let us bless the Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore.